Welcome back to my channel. So this is part two of a cooking video that I put out recently. I'll link it up above if you haven't seen it. I made it like a zucchini lasagna and I made like a pizza frittata. And then I said that I was also going to make a Gideon's inspired coconut flour sugar free cookie of chocolate chip sea salt and pistachio. I'll link that video down below. But we made a video for the Flept where we went to the East End Marketplace and there they had Gideon's which is going to also open up at Disney Springs. So we wanted to check it out and try a Gideon's cookie because people make such a big deal about it and swear it's like one of the best cookies and we were so curious to find out what is the big deal and the, the hype for this cookie. We only tried one cookie because they are super intense and decadent and we didn't want to get more than one just in case but we did try one and it was so amazing that we have been just thinking about that cookie since then and it was this like chocolate chip with pistachios and it also had little toffee nut pieces and sea salt we got the pistachio chocolate toffee and it's kind of crazy looking it has like you can see the little pieces of salt little pistachios little chocolate chips little toffee nut it's a lot going on in here it was just such a perfect like combination of flavors the sweetness of the toffee with the chocolate chips and then the pistachios gave it a crunch the sea salt just balanced all the sweetness it was it was awesome so ever since then I've wanted that cookie again during the holiday season I'm trying not to overindulge in actual sugar and just baked goods so I'm trying to justify having sweets and desserts as long as they are made at home they're sugar-free made with ingredients that I know what's going into it so I feel not as guilty about it but basically this is gonna be made with coconut flour to be made with um, sugar substitute it's gonna be a replication of the idea of this cookie but just I'm a lot healthier I would say I am taking the recipe from wholesome yum I have used wholesome yum to do so many different types of recipes I've done cookies and cakes and pies and I will say that every recipe that I've ever tried from wholesome yum always works out so I'm excited to try this one out now this is not the recipe for the Kittyans cookie this is just the recipe for like a healthy low carb sugar-free keto whatever you want to call it sugar cookie what I'm doing is I'm going to use this sugar cookie as a base and then I'm going to throw in the pistachios, the chocolate chips, the salt. I do not have toffee nut pieces but I'm going to have to do without that and just try to recreate this amazing cookie. <laughs> so let's see if this works out. So I've got Swerve which is my favorite sugar replacement sweetener and this one's my favorite it's the confectioner's version and this one's great for baking. I've got butter and this is the Kerrygold butter eggs of course I'm not sure how you say it xanthan gum um, this is great for creating a more like fluffier texture more like a real cookie and not so flat I'm gonna be using coconut flour for the base I'm gonna use baking powder vanilla extract for the chocolate chips I'm gonna be using these dark chocolate baking chips from Lily's it's no sugar added Lily's is our favorite brand for chocolate it is so good so it is sugar-free made with stevia I'm gonna use these honey roasted pistachios I will say these pistachios do have real sugar like coated on them but it's such a small amount that I don't feel like it's gonna be a problem and some sea salt so I'm following the recipe right here and I will link the recipe down below first thing I'm gonna do is measure out one-third a cup of swerve or whatever sugar substitute you're gonna use so one-third a cup of softened kind of melted butter whoops and now I'm gonna use a hand mixer so I can blend the sugar and the butter together you want it to be kind of fluffy looking so that should be good now I'm gonna add two large eggs I'm going to measure out half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm also going to measure out half a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm going to do one fourth of a teaspoon of sea salt. And now I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. So now I'm going to get half a cup of coconut flour and gradually start like just mixing it in little by little. And I switched from a hand mixer to just like a spatula because I figured at this point it just, you want to make it into a dough ball. I'm 
Okay, I can start to feel like it's all coming together. And now I gotta add the xanthan gum. So I'm gonna get a fourth of the teaspoon of the xanthan gum, and they did say to sprinkle it and then just mix it in. All right, I got my dough. The recipe does say to let the dough sit for a few minutes to help it thicken. Also, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 350. I let the dough sit for a few minutes, and now I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my pistachios and my chocolate chips to the actual mix itself. And I don't know how much to add, but I'm just gonna add some, and then I'll decorate them on top as well. I think I'm gonna add more chocolate chips because if you look at the Gideon's cookie, it is really packed. And I think that's the whole point. You really wanna not be shy about it. So I kinda wish I had more pistachios than I actually do, but I had an idea. We do have some leftover macadamia nuts and I feel like it wouldn't be a crime to add a few inside just to give it a little bit more crunch. So hopefully adding that in doesn't change too much of the flavor, but I just figured it would give it more crunch and it was just so packed with stuff inside of it that I, I wanna make sure it has enough of that nut flavor in it. I've got a tray lined with parchment paper. I've got my cookie dough mix and I'm going to use an actual like ice cream scooper to kind of scoop out big chunks of cookie dough. And the fun part about Gideon's cookies is that I think you should just leave them like that. Now I'm just eyeballing how big these like balls of cookie dough should be. I feel like this is big enough. I'm gonna make this one extra big just to see. Put this in the middle. Now an important part of the cookie is the sea salt. So we're gonna add sea salt on top. I've got these sea salt flakes and I'm just gonna kind of, I don't know, it's kind of tricky because I don't wanna over, I don't wanna overdo it, but I just, I do want there to be that good amount of salt taste. It's like, I'm scared about having too much salt taste, but then also I don't want it to not have enough of the salt taste. Well, hopefully that tastes good. I'm also gonna add just like a few extra chocolate chips to the top of each cookie, just to make it look prettier. All right, so these are gonna go in the oven for about seven to eight minutes, I believe it said, which is not that long. So hopefully they work out the way I imagined them, but they do look pretty. I have my lovely assistant here who's gonna test, taste test this Gideon's inspired cooking. You tell me how much you think it tastes like Gideon's. Okay. So cheers. <sighs> wow. I mean, pretty close. This is... It's pretty good. for Low carb? Coconut flour, sugar-free. Wow. For a sugar-free coconut flour version, I put macadamia nuts in it. Mm. Because I, I didn't have enough pistachios and I wanted more crunch. It is so soft, right? Perfect. <laughs> is it as good? Mm. No, but no, but pretty close. Right. For a guilt-free version, not bad. It is so moist and soft in the inside, but at the same time, it's like doughy. For being coconut flour and butter and eggs and stuff, like this is the closest I've ever tasted a low-carb thing to being like like dough or real. Mm-hmm. All right, well, now you know. I'll leave the recipe down below. Pretty good. I'm satisfied.
Toodaloo!